all right here we want to solve question 15 as you can see on the screen i'm going to read the question then we we'll go on and solve this problem i will show you how you can solve it i want to solve this question because wayek once used this question in the exams so that's the reason why i want to solve it so in case you repeat it this year or next year now the question says a circle of diam of 50 millimeters diameter rose along a straight line without slipping draw the curve traced out by a point p on the circumference for one complete revolution of the circle name the curve draw a tangent to the curve at a point on it 40 millimeters from the line so i'm going to show you how to solve this problem but if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel you need to subscribe for a technical drawing student you need to subscribe and put on the notification bell so that whenever i upload another video you will be notified but the most important thing about this subject as i usually say is for you to sit down and practice this subject you need to sit down and practice it this is a subject that is a practical subject so you need to practice it so don't just watch as you are watching you two should take your instrument and practice it and i believe that uh, you will understand it and you will be able to do it better than i do now let's solve this let's solve the problem now as we are told i've done a little part of it here i'm going to explain to you so um the first thing to do is to draw a horizontal center line then you draw a vertical center line the diameter of the circle is 50 millimeters so divide 50 by 2 that is 25 so draw a circle of radius 25 millimeters as i've done here so the next thing that you need to do is to divide this circle into 12 equal parts so i'm going to do that i believe you know how to do that so i'm going to do that while i pause the video then when i'm done i will come back and show you the next thing that you need to do all right so i've divided the circle into 12 equal parts and i've numbered and the numbering is in this order uh this is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven now this zero that i put here is the starting point because uh the circle is rolling on a straight line though i've not drawn the straight line so it's rolling on a straight line and uh this has to do with the way the tire of the, a car moves on uh on the surface of the road so uh this is just like a tire that is rolling on the surface of the road when it completes one revolution when it moves round when it completes one revolution it forms it's going to it forms the curve that we are asked to produce and uh okay now the next thing that we are going to do here is that we are going to draw horizontal line from each point on the circumference of the circle so for this so you draw horizontal line from here then 1 and 11 down the same point on the circumference of the circle draw horizontal line then 2 10 then on the same point on the circumference of the circle draw horizontal line then we have drawn for 3 and 9 so the next is 4 and 8 so draw horizontal line next 5 and 7 draw horizontal line and then the last one is 6 so draw horizontal line here so having done this the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to take the measurement of the circumference of this circle on this first line that comes out from zero now we need to calculate the circumference of this circle as we know that diameter is 50 millimeters so the formula for calculating the circumference of circle is pi d so pi is 3.142 or 3.14 so 3.142 times 50 will give us 157 so 157.1 just take it as 157 so take a measurement of 157 millimeters on this line 
a measurement of 157 millimeters on this line so um this is a short ruler so i have it up to 150 so this is 150 then i need to take seven millimeters in addition to that to make it 157 so this is 157 this is 157 so this line this line 157 i'm going to make this line i'm going to make it thick because it is on it that the circle is rolling so it has to be made a thick line so make it a thick line so to this point so this is it now this 157 millimeters line we are going to divide into 12 equal parts as we have divided the circle into 12 equal parts and a circle is rolling starting from zero here is going to end at this point so this will, will be labeled zero this will be labeled zero so we are going to divide this line zero zero into 12 equal parts as the circle is divided into 12 equal parts so i'm going to do that while i pause the video when i'm done with that i will come back and tell you the next thing that we need to do all right i've added the line into 12 equal parts as i said and i've numbered from 1 to 11 and then we have 0 at this point we have 0 so that is the hand so the next thing that you need to do is to draw a vertical line on each point on this line so draw a vertical line here then also you draw a vertical line so you draw a vertical line at this point so you draw a vertical line here here you draw a vertical line so draw a vertical line here here you draw a vertical line okay Draw a vertical line here, and then you draw a vertical line here. All right. So the next thing that we are going to do is that this point at the center, so we call it center C0. So this is on this horizontal center line. So this is C1. So this is C2 this is c3 this is c4 this is c5 this is c6 c7 c8 c9 c10 c11 and back to c0 all right so these are the center that we are going to use so the next thing that you are going to do now is that you take your compass and take the radius of the circle take the radius of the circle which is 25 millimeters so take the radius of the circle so this is it so put it at center one here put it at center one where the vertical line intersect the horizontal center line so put it at center one and you draw an arc on this line one on this line one so this line one so draw an arc on this line one like this so take note of this point so this is the point of intersection okay so next put it at center two and make an arc on line two like this so take note of this point then put it on center three so make an arc on line 3 like this so take note for the point of intersection then put it on center 4 so make an arc on line 4 so we have this point then put it at center 5 and then make an arc on line 5 
so this is the point of intersection then center six so it will make it to touch it at this point so just take note of this point then center seven so you make an arc on line seven so they intersect here so center eight so make an arc on line eight so they intersect here then center nine okay so you make an arc on line nine so we have this point as a point of intersection then center 10 so make an arc on line 10 so we have this point as a point of intersection center 11 so make an arc on line 11 so they intersect here so this is the point of intersection all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to join the point together with the use of a french curve so we use our french curve to join this point together so i'm going to do it so this is it so you take your french curve and you join this point together together this all right so the most okay all right so turn it So this is the curve that we're asked to produce. And this curve is known as a cycloid. It is called a cycloid. We're asked to name the curve after we have traced it out. And this curve is known as a cycloid. So this is the curve that will be produced as your tire or as the tire of your car is moving on the surface of the road. When it turns around, so this curve will be generated. But we are not done with the question because we are asked to draw a tangent to the curve at a point 40 millimeters from the line from what line it is from this line from this line upon which the circle is rolling so what you need to do now is that you take a measurement of 40 millimeters a measurement of 40 millimeters from the line say 40 millimeters up so this is 40 millimeters here then you draw a horizontal line so from this point draw a horizontal line to the curve so you touch it here so this is the point this is the point so and i will call it point p so this is point p so the next thing that you need to do is that so you take your compass so the radius of the circle you take the radius of the circle so this is the radius of the circle so put it at this point p here put it at point p and you make an arc on this center line on this horizontal center line make an arc here as i've done it here on this horizontal center line make an arc so wherever you touch here so you touch this point so i will call this point i will call it point q so this is point Q, then from point Q, so draw a vertical line, draw a vertical line from point Q here, so draw a vertical line onto the line, so you draw it down like this, 
So whenever I touch here, so we call this point, we call it point R on the line. Then you have to draw a straight line from point R passing through point P. Who is it? So I'll stop it here. So I'll now use my black pen to draw a line like this. So this line, so let me call it so from P to this to the end of this line, let me call this point, let me call it point S or line PS. So let me call it line PS. So this line PS is known as the normal is known as the normal so this line ps is known as the normal so let me show you here so pq is the radius of the circle pq is the radius of the circle so pq is the radius of the circle so i will put um so just let me put small letter r here as the radius of the circle okay so i said pq ps is the normal on the on the curve so the next thing that we are going to do as we are asked to draw a tangent to the point which is point p so take your protractor so set the 90 degree the 90 degree line on the protractor set it on line ps set it on line ps and leave a little space so that you can see the point then as i've done it here i can see the point i can see the point so then you draw a straight line from year to year so you draw a straight line through point P as I've done it here so this line let me call it line L M so this line L M is the tangent that we are asked to produce so we have answered the question so and don't forget that I said this curve that we have produced is known as a cycloid as we are told there that we should name the curve so you need to write it so you need to write it so we write it somewhere here or you can just draw uh an arrow headline so draw it here and write cycloid on it and then you need to name this a tangent you can also name this a normal so i've answered the question as as simple as i've done it here all you need to do is to practice don't just watch as i usually say make sure you practice it as you are practicing it you mastering it and i believe you can know it more than i do if you do what you are supposed to do don't forget to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students tell them about this particular uh, uh about uh, this particular channel which has to do with technical drawing and you too you continue practicing and you also make it thank you god bless you